So my small um, allium over here is finished flowering and they have set this really beautiful, you can also leave it because it's very uh, decorative, but inside here there's a bunch of new black little seeds here. See if I can pop them out here. There's a bunch of black ones here. See if I can get them out. So when they're all black like here, I'll just show you a few here. So when they're all black and dry, I'll collect them in my coffee filter here, sprinkle them down, and then I'll keep them in the coffee filter until I'm ready to sow them. And I'll sow them uh, in the greenhouse over winter, and I'll show you how I'll do it. For this, we're using regular potting soil because it's the cheapest. We did add water beforehand. That'll help our seeds not get lost and tossed around in the tray. Oh, and if you want to see a great video on how to winter sow, click the link here. Good job, Lars. So I'm sowing my Allium Millennium, or Allium, some says. So I'm just drizzling it down here. It's quite black, the ones here. And they're really good at doing winter sown because they are quite long process of small little plant to a flower. So I'm gonna add a handful of soil on top just so they cover here like this. There we go. And then I'm gonna add my little name tag here. I'll place it out in the greenhouse and with my, my spray here I'm gonna check Every two weeks, if the surface dries out, then I'll give it a little spray with water. Keep it in the greenhouse. Nature will do its rest. And then in the spring, when it gets warmer, it will start to germinate. Once the plants are a little bit bigger, I can put them right out in the garden and just wait for it to flower. Now it's time to place these in the glass house. They're going to need sunlight and they're going to need to be watered once every two weeks with a little sprayer. Just keep an eye on them. Once these seedlings start to sprout, they'll be ready to plant out directly in the garden come springtime. So it has been three months and these tiny little allium has sprouted in the tray and now I've just repotted them in a little bigger pot here and they are so cute here and they will stay uh, in the greenhouse until they're a little bit bigger and then I'll plant them out in the garden. If you don't have the space uh, nor the time to repot, you could also have uh, planted them out directly from the tree.